Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I'm here at the gallery with a general tarot reading. This is an ongoing Cards of Truth series for the entire 52 card deck. Here is a chart to find your birth card. I've already cleared the cards and spent time meditating on my shooting star spread. I'm using the Cards of Truth deck for the overall starting point and then clarifying with the Ethereal Visions deck. I chose this deck because it has an artist card added into the Major Arcana. I'll close with a message from Spirit with the Soul's Journey lesson cards. If you'd like to know more about today's card, please pause the video and read the description box below. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera now so that you can see the card spread for today. This is a reading for all Ace of Hearts birth cards. This is the shooting star spread. It is a three card spread about unblocking or heightening your creative flow. I like to take cards that spring from the deck while shuffling, and that can take a while, so I've already done that and laid out the cards, which allows me to hear the message for you as well. There's no wrong way to choose cards, it's just what works for me. So the first row here represents your inner and outer resources, much like the south node position in the Cards of Truth birth chart, easily accessible because it's what you bring with you from a past life. However, there is a possibility it's so easy it's taken for granted. Second row is about tapping into what motivates you. Here it's more or less the north node, the Rahu, as it will naturally assist you in your soul's full potential. Third row is what Source would like to share as guidance, pure and simple. So let's take a look at the first row. Beautiful energy here to have in your toolbox. The, the Ace of Hearts is all about the foundation for an emotional experience. It is the first card in the suit and it's the foundation for all of them. So a very strong card to begin with. It is as strong as any face card. And the Six of Hearts is all about emotional stability. It's about fulfilling and it's about being validated from your hard work. It's seeing the wabi-sabi-ness in others and being okay with it. It's like we all have our, our what, well, it reminds me of the, the, the good angel on one sh shoulder and the devil on the other. And you're, it's always a, a battle of wills between the two as to how you conduct yourself through life. <laughs> and, but the, the uh, Six of Hearts understands that and embraces it and finds the beauty in it. Lovely. The next one is a Six of Swords. Now this is out of the Ethereal Visions deck. And for me, it tells of movement for a better a better outcome this is all about maybe finding a new gallery or it's about leaving a place to find a better place it's all about um, a soul's journey really it's finding solutions and going through transitions to move forward it could be, like I said, um, finding a new gallery or maybe even a, a new body of work, but it is in pursuit of some betterment, some change for the betterment. All right. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. Now, this is in reverse, and I read those as blocks of... Um, or it could be um, in the subconscious yet to emerge, or it could be just a block to energy that, that needs a little nudge to get going. Now the Knight of Wands is all about advancing and undertaking. It's with a determination, um, energy that can be impulsive, but it's definitely passionate. 
so if that's feeling a little stuck, it's probably because of the changes that are underway for you. It's coming. <laughs> and it's always a journey, isn't it? So here's the Ace of Cups, which is the equivalent of the Ace of Hearts. And it's in reverse as well. So this also is a blocked energy. Now we know that the Aces are all about new births. And this is about a new creative beginning of original ideas. So that's a little bit in the stuck position for you or the blocked energy position. So I can see that perhaps you're struggling with the decision of whether or not to move into something different. But I think the indecision or the just not being able to come to a solution yet in that respect goes into your motivation row here because this row as I just said, is about motivating and what gets you going. So what's going to help you figure out which way or to do or not to do, right? So we've got the Ten of Diamonds. Great card for you. This is all about heightening that practical determination and abilities as you, as an Ace of Hearts, and with the Six of Hearts in your toolbox, completely understand the groundedness of having a Ten of Diamonds in this motivation, because this is all about your skills, it's about your abilities, it's about being successful, um, you've got ingenuity, it's just a great card for an artist to have. It's about earthly things, it's concrete things, it's... Uh, and it's also the, the wish card, so very lovely. Um, yeah, okay. So next, in that indecision mode, that contemplation that should I stay or should I go or do I, do I move forward, do I hold, you know, it's like, what do I do? Well, it's the two of swords. It is indecision. It is a self-imposed time to contemplate your position, if you will, and to understand more or less finding how to find the, the uh, harmony, the balance that offsets the stalemate. It's um, you being stuck in indecision. I know, it, it can't be a very comfortable place to be. So, and I've experienced that, where you just can't seem to be able to move forward with anything. You just think you've got an idea, and nope, not that. <laughs> so it's definitely an enforced timeout from source to contemplate. And here it is, right, right here in your motivation. It's the Hierophant, and it's in reverse, so again, it is a stuck energy or something in the subconscious. I see this as more of a stuck energy because this is source wanting to have a conversation with you, wanting to get you where you need to go to hear what you need to hear to um, go back to old school ways to research your path. Uh, your whole path of creativity, your journey as an artist. Revisit, contemplate, do some meditation on that because within that contemplation, you will find what it is that you need to do. It's going to come with some hard work as you have the Eight of Pentacles here, but that's motivation for you. You don't mind that a bit, so... You are ready to roll up your sleeves and get to work. Do what you have to do. And I say that you need some contemplation in that matter because it is here and it's also with the Hierophant, but it's also what Source would share with you. 
It's interesting to me that you get the jack of hearts here in what source would share with you. This is a beautiful card in the Cards of Truth deck. The jack of hearts is something that they call a fixed card because it is pure jack of hearts. There's no underlying or overlying uh, motivator or impetus to, or carrot, if you will, to move forward with. It's just pure jack of hearts, and you got to love the jack of hearts because he's very charming energy. So Source is acknowledging that in you and how you are able to make everyone feel beautiful and deserving of your love. Lovely, lovely, or deserving of love, I should say, not just your love, but of love from source to be validated to just feel like you're a beautiful flower if you will deserving of the butterfly beautiful beautiful card and then we have the moon one of my favorite cards i have to say because this is all about emotional uh, introspection it is doing some shadow work if you will so it may be something in this that will help motivate you into that new body of work or get you to that place where you're ready to spring forth and see the, the crossroads ahead, the, the, the why in the road as to which way to go and clearly see sources, signposts along the way. So yeah, shadow work is definitely part of it. And as a jack of hearts, it's, um, it's a little complicated to get there because you've got to take the rose-colored glasses off. You've got to stop for a moment and move into this next card, the Four of Swords. Now this is all about taking a respite from the battles that you've just endured. This is a time of contemplation, researching, rethinking, living it through in your head to figure out what it is that you're moving away from. And once you figure that out, it will shine a beacon on the direction that you need to head in. Then you won't be stuck anymore. Then you'll be listening to source and you'll be ready to do that hard work. Beautiful, beautiful suggestion here as to a way out of this contemplating and wondering which direction to take. Next, the final card that Source would share with you is the Knight of Cups. And again, very much like the Jack of Hearts here, they are interchangeable, if you will, as far as what they represent. The Knight of Cups is all about delivering a um, fulfillment. It is showing you how to advance. It is a healing inspiration. It's approach of things of importance and new endeavors. So Source is saying that it is right there for you. You might be feeling stuck at the moment, but as Source was saying, if you look deep, check into the, the shadow side of things, look back in your history, maybe you'll have that um, springing from, from within the depths of your creative journey, what you missed, because the Hierophant is all about sharing a secret from Source. It is something that's been hidden from you. It is something that you may have been, been burying deep and haven't really had the resources that were in your toolbox to deal with, but now you do, and Source is telling you where to find it, and you will be able to just go on such an incredible journey as far as being able to um, figure that out, and then you will know exactly where to put all of that hard work into. Beautiful spread for you. Just love it. Yeah, I'm big on the shadow work. <laughs> Find a lot of creative depth there. <laughs> 
So now um, I, the, the last card that Source guides me to is found by moving my pendulum across the spread out deck of the soul's journey deck here. So I've already done that because that can take a while as well. And the card for you is pride. Now this is an absolutely beautiful message from Source. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I had to snicker a little bit off that because you're the ace of hearts, you know, and it's like, I love myself, but you know, it's not like that at all. So no, this is source telling you, oh, what am I doing? I'm putting it back. I don't mean to, you know, I should put it right on top of you because this is a beautiful, beautiful message from source. So I'm going to put it on the hyphen because I think that once you realize how to open up, right, visit that shadow work, get back into that contemplating your past, seeing what the missing bits are, you'll understand fully what this card is all about. And the message for you with this is Source wants to remind you that it's time to honor and acknowledge who you are and what your soul has accomplished with your life thus far, that you have conducted yourself with nobility and truth, with right, positive actions. Source sees how you operate from a compassionate and empathetic position. How beautiful is that? You have made a better life for yourself and others that your creative original self has already changed the world for the better. The way you share insights and are supportive of other artists and their creative path, as well as having a deep understanding of your own journey. Source sees how brave you have been throughout your career and suggests that you celebrate your achievements. How beautiful is that? You know, Source wants you to take your rightful ownership of who you are and how you have shared your creative original light with the world. Also, that because you are who you are as an ace of hearts, this will resonate with you to look around and acknowledge those other souls who have also accomplished many great things and who need to be reminded of them as well. Just beautiful here, I have to say. I hope all of you Ace of Hearts out there found this interesting and helpful. You can also watch the card videos for your Sun, Moon and Venus and so on placements and contemplate those readings as well. Happy creating. So creative, stay true to your uniqueness on your creative path. And I hope this gave you some food for thought. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It means a lot to me and my soul and life purpose. Thank you.